five finger death punch. I switched over to the, um, I'm still using the, the rectifiers, uh, but guitar wise, I switched over to the BC Rich. Um, just, I loved, I've always loved BC Rich guitars. It was a really cool design. I just started really liking the Vs. Is the, just the accessibility to the frets was so much easier. They were lighter that you could perform. You could, you could get around on stage a little easier with them. So I, I just really liked the Vs. And then when I seen the, uh, the Junior Vs from BC Rich, I just I really fell in love with the guitars. Plus, they were a longer scale neck, which um, which I needed for five finger death punch because um, I don't play a seven string and the stuff is tuned down really low and there's some really high notes and the bleeding solo and things like that. They uh, they were recorded on a seven string guitar, and I'm not a seven string guitar player, so I needed something that was a little longer. And um, BC Rich just happened to have this this thing. You know, they just came out with this guitar and I, I just really liked it. And I'm going to talk a little bit about my lead style, um, how I construct solos. Some of my biggest influences are guys like Randy Rhodes, Stevie Ray, and Malmsteen. I was a huge Yngwie Malmsteen uh, fan for a long time and, and still am today. So what I would kind of do is I would, I always practice the pentatonic scale, which, which Randy and, and Stevie Ray, they're they, they lived in that pentatonic scale quite a bit. So if you take a bluesy, you take a bluesy lick, say something that Stevie Ray would play. And then add a little Randy flavor to it. Maybe throw an arpeggio in there for some Malmsteen. What I would do is I would take ideas like that, kind of run them together, and maybe come up with something like that. One of the ways that I would kind of construct my leads, just basically taking ideas that I'd practiced for years and years um, that I'd gotten from guys, from other players. With Ingve, there's a lot of arpeggio, a lot of harmonic minor kind of thing, and some of the scales, some of the exercises I would practice a lot would consist of stuff like. <laughs> Things like that. Uh, Stevie Ray is, is obviously, I, I copped a lot of blues licks from him. We're, we're playing in the key of E. Of course, my guitar is tuned to B, but we're playing in the key of E. Uh, I would take, I would take licks. <laughs> Incorporate that into into metal. It's it's basically the foundations of metal, and it's basically what Randy Rose did quite a bit too. One really cool sort of arpeggio exercise that I that I find myself playing a lot. It's just a good just a good thing for me to loosen up. Um, you can take pieces of it and fragment it up and use it for for solos whatever but it's uh it's based around a in the key of a again 